Hi everyone, uh, this is Baishakhi. You are watching my channel Abundance. And today I'm going to show you how to tie a sari in a very modern, elegant fashion. So uh, I'm sure you will love this drape. Watch it before you comment. So for this drape, uh, there are several things that you can do. Uh, you can wear a traditional blouse or you can get a modern looking uh, short top like how I got in this uh, uh, attire and uh, for the sari uh, instead of wearing a normal petticoat you can wear a pair of tight pants or you could also wear shorts if you don't mind showing your legs uh, or the third option is to wear a transparent net self work petticoat uh, which will give a very uh, distinct look to your drape. So after you watch it, you will know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to begin. Uh, this is my sari. And uh, go to the non-pallu side of the sari. And the, the end of the sari which has the pico, you need to uh, hide that. So I'm just going to make a little fold here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making pleats from this end. Uh, try to make your pleats as wide as you can and uh, for this drape I would advise you to get, get a sari with a, um, with a chiffon or a georgette or a crepe or a net fabric so you will have a very nice flow. You can also try it with silk. It will give a totally different look. Uh, you can just play with your options. So I'm making the pleats. As you can see, these are really wide pleats. So it's taking me a little effort to make them. And it's a lot of pleats. my pleats here make sure your pleats are facing the left and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck them in just arrange your pleats a little bit so they are not like uh, different lengths they should all be the same length as you can see I'm out here in the nature so there is a lot of breeze so please pardon the So, I'm going to tuck in the pleats in the middle of my hands. So, I have this portion of the sari left. I'm going to put, bring it around me. For this particular drape, it would be nice if you have the pallu as long as possible. So I'm going to take out a few pleats because it looks like my sari is not that long. Yeah. So uh, once you've made the pleats, you bring the remaining of the fabric around you. Uh, you can make it like you can cover this part if you like. Or if you would like to add a little bit more sexiness, you can make it like low waist and uh, throw the pallu over your left shoulder. So uh, you have a look where you have only half the sari on your side. And uh, you see the pallu at the back, it's really long, right? what you can do is make a knot over here
you have a knot and the sari is flowing and then you can get the front like this you can go for a fashion show or for any event wearing this attire and if you are bold enough you can change the pants into shorts so if you're wearing heels you have one leg uh, sticking out of your attire which looks great and uh, this is where you drop the pallu you can put a pin here if you like and i will show you another quick style uh, so the same pallu you can bring it in the front like this take off the knot this tutorial stay tuned